Good morning, Virgos. Welcome back to Will's Cartomancy Tarot. What I like to go on and do for you guys is that I'm going to go on and give you a romance reading, which would be valid until the end of this month. Okay, I'm going to be using my regular card deck in conjunction with the tarot. Um, and I'm going to go on and begin your reading by starting off with um, examining a few combinations that I see here, okay? Um... I noticed that you have two nines there, um, Virgo, so that shows a small gain of some sort or perhaps a minor um, business contract that might come up for you. Um, also, I noticed the you have the Ace of Hearts there, and let's combine that with the Eight of Diamonds. And that shows that it shows work that you love or perhaps amateur um, type work that's perhaps that you do on the side or something that you would like to do more creatively. Um, the nine of spades here combined with the eight of diamonds. Uh, that also shows um, some of you may work during the night, the night shift. Okay. Also, I noticed that since this jack of diamonds there is connected, you know, at the corner kind of looking on the outside, you guys, this indicates that someone will more than likely leave your life, you know, and it could be possibly an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or, you know, and if you were to just looking at the, um, it seems that the way he's looking, he's facing some type of a decision, or he or she might be a, at a crossroad, road, Okay. Now, also, since the nine of spades kind of sets in the, almost in near the center in terms of the cards, this is urging you to kind of develop more perspective, perhaps find new friends and kind of live differently or kind of break old ties. You know, this is what this is, seems to be just suggesting. And since I noticed, too, that you have a predominance of high cards there, it looks like important changes are Certainly are going to, um, they're forthcoming and you're going to be, it seems like you're going to be closely involved, um, Virgos with others. Okay. You also have these two jacks there that could also potentially shows troubling teenagers or annoying teenagers or, you know, might be causing problems and it also shows infidelity. It also shows you guys that, you know, it denotes pretty much, um, a discussion or an argumentative type atmosphere that kind of surrounds you. And it also um, appears to kind of suggest that someone with manipulative actions or motives, um, they're going to try to reach out to you in some way. Usually it's somebody that may have hurt you and they're trying to crop back up into your life or come back into your life or something. But usually these jacks are usually... Um, what we see here, and we also see that if we look at both of these jacks, I mean, they're kind of turned away from each other, so it shows a problem that is going on. Somebody is ignoring somebody else, okay? And also having the, the larger numbers here, it shows that you're um, pretty much at the near or at the end phase of your situation, Okay? Let's go on and get started with your reading by examining your bottom card there. You have the five of um, hearts. So, Virgos, this card referred to a water sign. It could be a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio. Usually, I usually see that card as being Mars, you know, and Scorpio. So, this card is all about, you know, bitterness or melancholy or perhaps even patrimony. You know, emotional loss and setbacks. It says that you are feeling a bit hurt about how your lover treated you. And you feel it's kind of taking a bit too long to kind of realize what you want, you know. And it seems that you are tired of the effort it's been taking you to kind of sustain a relationship, you know. And this card is kind of urging you to kind of ensure you are kind of veering matters, you know, Virgos, from what it is. Rather than really constantly... You know, maybe kind of bringing up the past, you know, might need to just let that go. Okay, let's move right along and get into your current situation. And we have the Jack of Diamonds falling there. In Virgos, that refers to an Earth sign. It could be a Cap, you know, Taurus or Virgo. And it could even represent you. Okay, 
So this card is all about reflection, focus, and, you know, realism and romantic encounters. So this card says, Virgo, you are not sure how to really handle a situation with a lover and might kind of feel you have no option but to kind of let him or her go. But it looks like another opportunity looks like it might present itself to you. I see that it is. And I'm kind of feeling, too, when you have this card, sometimes you could be in a relationship out of convenience and it's really not a really, you know, deep emotional bond. It just seems like it might be, you know, one of convenience in some sense. Okay, let's move right along to your next card and just look at really what moves you internally. We have that jack of spades there. So, Virgos, this card refers to an air sign. And, of course, the, those signs include Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Okay? And this card, you guys, is all about, you know, defensiveness, you know, circumspection, um, criticism, you know, unexpected developments, particularly in love affairs. Okay? And this card kind of says that, you know, you want to work things out with a lover, but you don't feel loved in some way. You know, perhaps you feel you are kind of being criticized a bit too much, and you might even gotten to the point or almost reached the to point of that you've almost broken up because due to an argument, you know? And perhaps you... You, you know, you might need to kind of withdraw a little bit, I think, with this card. But it will, it seems like it's going to be kind of tough or hard for you to kind of leave this relationship. But you got to understand that this too shall pass. And your situation, you know, appears to be only temporary. And the reason why I would say, I'm saying this is because you have the wish card in here, the nine of hearts. So some of you may have been really kind of wishing that things would get better in a relationship sense. But... You know, it still will be up to you whether you will want it to progress or not, okay? Let's move right along and look at, you know, what's really causing you anxiety, okay? We have the Ten of Clubs there. So this card refers to a fire sign. It could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. And usually this card is, in fact, Saturn is in Sagittarius. So this card is all about workload or struggle or pressure and planning, so... You know, you are concerned about all that, all the energy it looks like that you've been kind of, um, I would say, extending um, or expending in this relationship to, to kind of sustain it, you know. And you're going to feel like your dreams, even if you still continue to try, your dreams won't come true anyway. You know, cause you have all of these hopes and desires, it seems, throughout the cards. And this wish card is assuring you that they, in fact, are. Okay, let's go right along and look at your lover's feelings for you. And we have the nine of spades falling in that position. So this card refers to an air sign. It could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and certainly Mars is in Gemini. So I see this card as being all about pessimism or, you know, depression, you know, doubt and anxiety. Therefore, I feel that your lover feels that you are kind of having a lot of anxiety or you're worrying a bit too much and you're just unsure about, you know, um, whether you should continue this relationship. Okay. Let's go on and examine your feelings for your lover. Okay. We have the five of clubs there. So this card, Virgos, you know, it refers to a fire sign. It could be an Aries, Sag. You know, or Leo. And of course, Saturn is in Leo with this card. So again, this card is all about, you know, obstacles or reunions, challenge, you know, challenges or even possibly quarreling. So this card therefore says that you see your lover as very courageous, it appears, and might, you know, kind of see him or her as a challenge of some sort. One that you're willing to kind of, you know, a risk that you're willing to take. Okay? Let's go on and move on and look at the challenges that may crop up in this relationship. And you know what? You actually got a good card to fall in that position. Actually, it's the wish card that falls in the challenges. So we'll just try to, you know, reverse it in a sense in terms of, or interpret it from that angle, from a challenging perspective. So with the nine of hearts, this card does refer to a water sign. It could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, 
and Jupiter is in fact in Pisces. So this card is all about kind of getting your wish or, as I said, satisfaction and even complacency. So uh, with such a good card, your challenge would be not to kind of get so caught up on pleasures and money, you know, but do enjoy yourself and try not to kind of maybe smug your partner a little bit, you know, too much that would be too, you know, uncomfortable at times. Okay, let's go on and get you some advice. We have the Ace of Hearts falling there. So this card refers to a water sign. It could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. And this card is all about feelings or enthusiasm, you know, love and peace. So this card says, you know, really, you know, Virgos, take advantage of the opportunities that are going to be presented to you and kind of open up to kind of new, you know, feelings or new emotions. Just think new when you see that card, okay? Let's move right along to look at your likely outcome. We have the Eight of Diamonds there. So that refers to an Earth sign, and it could be a Virgo, Cap, Taurus. I see it as the sun as being in Virgo. So this card is all about, you know, precision, you know, self-confidence, and, you know, really discipline. So this card says that, you know, you're going to begin to attract a lot of attention, but you still might, I feel, sever, decide that you might just want to sever a relationship in favor of a new one, but, you know, also, you haven't, you have yet to really, really make up your mind as to the way that you want to go, so, for those of you who want to save your relationship, you know, you'll need to kind of continue to work at it, you know, and because this eight of diamonds represents, you know, kind of working at things, you know, taking it bit by bit, so you have to work at it on, you know, the small things, and really believe in a possibility, really, of a new start, you know? So that's what I'm kind of seeing there for that. And, you know, just to give you some parting advice, I went on and, and to try to determine your numerical theme. And basically what I did is I added up all of these numbers here, okay? And basically I derived at a sum of 10. So when you look in a tarot, the 10 actually equates to both the will of fortune and one. And we have the 10, that's the will of fortune, one plus zero is one, the magician. So the part and advice that I would have for you guys is that, you know, certainly there's an important task that you kind of need to face now, the will of fortune, right? And rest assured that you certainly have sufficient power and aptitude to kind of master it, the magician. So Virgos, this is what I have for you. I certainly hope that this reading has offered food for thought for you guys. Um, Virgos, I'm going to be running a promotion or I'm presently running a promotion where um, it extends until Thursday of this week. Um, one question at $20. If you're interested in, you can certainly contact me at wat61073 at gmail.com. Um, and for you Virgos who have yet to subscribe to my channel, please take a moment to do so now. And as always, I look forward to hearing your comments. And as with any reading, this reading may not have resonated with everyone. So for those for whom this reading was meant, I certainly hope it, it offered you food for thought. Enjoy your day and have a good evening.